But in your manifesto also, uh, you know, many new policies have to be introduced, which was promised in every ministry, health ministry. What would be the new policies and what I will think, the policy uh, I have? think, uh, apart from the various other things, <coughs> on the top of my priority is to uh, see that if we can uh, develop a universal health insurance program for mm. our countrymen, that should be something very, very uh, important. And if you could uh, mm, basically uh, work for the elimination of uh, eradication of a few more diseases, mm. If we can upgrade all our district hospitals in this uh, country, if we can see that the process of uh, uh, completion of All India Institute of Medical Sciences, which were opened at the behest of uh, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee in the early 21st century, mm -hmm. they are all completed very soon. Mm -hmm. And we have similar uh, projects started in other states also. Sir, uh, medical education is also a very key area to be concerned of. Uh, what plan uh, of action you have? For the this 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 field requires a, a lot more uh, of attention than normally one would expect, because uh, there is already a lot of uh, you can say corruption in this field. Uh, the medical Council of India has been uh, seen as uh, so some sort of plagued by uh, this ailment mm. and. Uh, there is a lot that has to be done for improving medical education standards. What we were taught 30-40 uh, years back, there is a sea change that has taken place in the uh, medical education field. Mm. All those changes, modern things have to be incorporated in the medical curriculum. Mm. Ethics has to become a part of the medical curriculum. Mm. And I think uh, it will require certainly involvement of uh, very highly uh, motivated, intelligent, transparent, honest, uh, experienced professionals uh, of our medical field mm. to really look into these issues with great sincerity, with a meticulous approach and uh, suggest uh, concrete steps to overhaul the medical education system in this country. So early this year we celebrated the victory over polio and uh, your contribution that is needs no mention here. Uh, what next? What uh, would be the next goal and what would be the next disease which needs to be just eradicated from this nation? I think immediately if I say that uh, maybe in, it, uh, uh, in one, two years if we can really concentrate and focus, we could uh, start working on measles, we could start working on uh, leprosy. Uh, we could we could uh, work for uh, file area we should do uh, something uh, big for malaria we should uh, see that no case of tuberculosis remains uh, untreated he should have uh, f easy and free access to the anti tubercular drugs and all the essential medicines which can take care of the 95% of the routine illnesses mm. they should be available in uh, adequate quantities at our health facilities and uh, uh, even poor people should have access to them. So, uh, uh, there is a need for a essential drug policy program. Uh, the, the, uh, the, all those things have to be reviewed, strengthened. And we have to uh, get into the national health mission uh, uh, into its depth, what we have achieved till now. Because uh, two years of the 12th five-year plan, I have reviewed uh, nothing much has happened on the urban side of the National Health Mission. And uh, on the rural side also, we find that the uh, ASHA volunteers, which are the backbone right. of the program, they have a lot of se uh, serious problems. Mm -hmm. So, they, need, they have to be addressed. They have to be uh, basically motivated mm -hmm. to be able to deliver. So, uh, it's, it's, it's not one single activity that you are talking about. We, we have to work on many issues, uh, whether it is 87% uh, anemia in uh, pregnant women or uh, uh, you see even today the average dietary intake uh, of an Indian is something like 2100-2200 uh, uh, kilocalories, mm. which is I think uh, far 
too inadequate uh, uh, that is a, a very sad state of affairs uh, so only uh, you, you see uh, this uh, large number of uh, newborns are still underweight in this country we have almost 350 million people still below uh, poverty line and this um, unless we are able to tackle poverty also in a big way <coughs> unless we are able to provide uh, good sanitation facilities potable water uh, 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 sanitary latrines for citizens uh, all over the country we cannot achieve uh, the goal of health for all so it's a multi pronged strategy uh, <coughs> multiple you can say uh, uh, involvement of uh, various ministries and we we would uh, need bipartisan support for our health programs uh, people have to rise above political considerations and health has to be uh, dealt with uh, with total objectivity and impartiality dr harshvardhan as the minister for health the message and dr harshvardhan as a doctor some tips to the nation to you know stay a healthy life as a health minister i would say that uh, uh, everyone should start thinking about his own health right. and not consider uh, health as going to the doctor spending some money on medicines mm. uh, going to the hospital that's not health mm. health is what you achieve mm. for which you do something concrete mm. for which you think for which you introspect what are your healthy habits what are your unhealthy habits mm. so i would advise uh, all countrymen to adopt one healthy lifestyle every day and to shed one uh, unhealthy lifestyle every day so every day with each uh, passing day mm. you will start becoming healthier and you will start uh, shedding off disease from your body and as a doctor i would suggest that uh, one should uh, resort to a very healthy lifestyle uh, get up early in the morning go to bed early uh, uh, in the morning do some yoga physical exercises walk mm. do some meditation at some point of time uh, take uh, healthy foods eat less uh, maintain your uh, caloric intake and uh, take care of your uh, stress also avoid stress uh, these are some of the things and then avoid things like alcohol tobacco smoking mm. uh, uh, all these things i think usually uh, they, they 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 are actually synonyms of death so these are the practices which you follow that's why you work till 3 at night and get up early in the morning and again start to uh, work i i uh, may uh, one thing that i may not be following in this is to go to bed early because that's virtually yeah. impossible mm -hmm. but uh, i try to follow uh, many things uh, i don't take alcohol i have never uh, 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 smoked in my life i have fought uh, always fought against tobacco i try to eat very little and that's what i think is important uh try to eat healthy food right sir on that very positive note thank you so much for speaking to us welcome thank you sir. welcome